After eight years of fighting separatists on these front lines, we've come to find out how some of these soldiers feel right now about the threat of a full Russian invasion. I'm angry, Dennis tells us. Russians can't come to my house with their rules, he says. It's like me going to my neighbor and saying, hey, you must live under my rules. As diplomats gather in Moscow and Kiev for dinners and meetings to talk de-escalation, this is the daily reality for those on the front line. It's normal, Dennis reassures us, to the sound of gunfire. It's diplomats. A soldier shows us around his living quarters. The situation here has not changed for years, he tells us. Let it all be over now, he says, and we can all go home. But how to end this war, we ask. Just knock out the Russian-backed separatists and that's it. Take what's ours. How else, he says. How many boys have died here in this war? Does he think the war will end soon? Ukraine has been getting military support from its allies. Talks are of de-escalation, but the actions on all sides tell a different story. Is there anything you want the world to know right now, we ask? World, please, no more protracted diplomacy, Dennis says. That kind of diplomacy doesn't lead to anything good. Is it too late for diplomacy? It hasn't worked for eight years, he answers bluntly. Enough diplomacy. Having faced Russian aggression for so many years, though the threat seems now greater than ever, these soldiers' motivation remains the same. They fight, they tell us, for their mothers, their sisters, their families, their territory, their home. Sarah Firth, TRT World, Donbass Frontlines, Ukraine.